Hey everybody, it's me. Um, okay, I just wanted to do a really quick update on some of my hair tools. Um, when I posted that video, I wasn't really expecting a whole lot of people to like it, but um, as it turned out, it got a lot of views. So, um, I actually, there are some things that I found out about some of the products that I talked, or some of the tools that I talked about in that video, and I wanted to let you guys know about this stuff that I found out. Um, okay, first I'll start with the hair straightener. Um, okay, this is the hair straightener that I talked about in my, um, hair tools video. It's by Curlmaster Ceramics, and it was like $30 at Sally Hansen, or not Sally Hansen, Sally Beauty Supply. Um, it's kind of a piece of crap. Um, I said that it did an adequate job of straightening my hair, and, um, I talked about how it left, like, this frizziness, like, right around here. Um... Okay, that may have partially been because I keep, I do have my hair up in a ponytail a lot. Um, but I borrowed my friend's chi. Um, I'm actually, I'm hoping to get one of my own soon, but for right now I'm just borrowing hers. I got her chi and it's like a miracle worker on my hair. Like, my hair is a lot softer. It's like 20,000 times less frizzy. It, like... The difference is amazing. Um, the things that I can tell um, that are different is these they f the, these ceramic plates themselves. They aren't very, like, when you close it, there's kind of like, you can kind of see between the plates if you look really closely. This one, like, there's no, there's no gap between them at all. Also on this one, the ceramic plates are much thinner. And on the chi, they're a lot thicker. And on this, on the chi, they also, they have a little bit of give. They, like, rotate a little bit. Um, this one, it also feels like it has, like, a really thick, almost, like, plastic coating. Which is kind of disturbing, because you don't want to put hot plastic on your hair. Um, but this one, it just, like, it feels really cool to the touch. And it feels a lot, like, a lot more like there's ceramic there instead of whatever else is there. Um... Okay, so I know that cheese are very, very expensive, and for those of you who want a good straightening iron or flat iron or whatever, um, for not a lot of money, um, I'm sure there are a lot, like, new ones. This one is several years old. I'm sure there are a lot of new ones that are about $30 that are just as good. Um, I know a lot of my friends who have different curling irons, like by Conair and stuff, or curling irons, straightening irons, and, um, like by Conair and Revlon and things like that, and they like them just fine. Um, a couple of brands that I do want to mention, Chi, obviously, um, GHD makes an excellent hair straightener. Her, um, if I had the money, I would totally get one, but they're like $200, and that's really, really expensive. So, unless you have money to spend on that kind of thing, or you're like a hair guru, hair salonist person, I don't quite think that it's worth it. Like, if you want to invest in something like that, totally go for it. But they are very, very expensive. Um, cheese you can find at falica.com for about, um, I think it's like 72 for the most basic thing. Um... But yeah, so I'm saving up to get one of those. And um, another, the only, the only other brand that I really wanted to mention was a brand from um, Sally's Beauty Supply, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Um, from Sally's, and it's like GVP, so it's not G, GHD, but it's GVP. And um, it's like it stands for like generic value product. Um, my friend's mom has one. And she, like, this is the same one that I'm borrowing this one from. She actually prefers her mother's straightener over this one. And her mom's straightener, she got it from Sally's. She got it kind of on sale. It was about $60. Um, it's narrower than this one. The plates are, like, they don't wiggle. But it is, like, it is an amazing hair straightener. Like, I've used it, and it works so well. Like, the plates are actually kind of rounded this way. So they're not, like, completely flat, but they're a little bit rounded. And it's, like, I want to say it's, like, three-quarters of an inch or half an inch thick instead of a full inch. But, um, 
and like it had instead of like a she it has a set temperature setting it has um, like an adjustable one and she just like cranks the heat all the way up and makes it really hot and you just like run it through your hair once and your hair is like perfectly straight it's like it's almost as expensive as a chi but it's a lot easier to get your hands on I think and it's also not quite as much so if you're looking for that I'll try to find a link to put in the sidebar for that so those are the that's what I wanted to say about hair straighteners um, amazing my hair is no longer frizzy it's wonderful okay the next thing that I wanted to talk about really quickly was uh, my hair dryer um, a lot of you are like, it's red, it looks all fancy and stuff. No, this is probably about $30 at Walmart. Um, this is a Revlon 1875 Ionic Tourmaline hair dryer. Um, it's, once again, it's a few years old. Um, it works really well. I like it a lot. Um, but if you're trying to find one that's similar to this, um, Revlon makes a lot of different hair dryers. Uh, most of them are Ionic now. Um, they even have a ceramic one now. Um, but there is no, like this one, they don't actually make this exact brand, or this exact type anymore. Um, they have Revlon 1875 hair dryers, they have Revlon 1875 Ionic hair dryers, but they don't have the tourmaline in them. Like, they, I don't know, they're all kind of similar, but it's not, it doesn't have all of the terms applied to the exact hair dryer. Um... I looked it up online, and this was at Walmart, so, um, because that's where I found mine. But, um, at Walmart, um, the most expensive Revlon hair dryer that I saw was about $35. Um, some of them, that one I think came with, like, three diffusers or something, I don't know. Some of them have, like, ceramic diffusers now and stuff, and they're about 30 bucks. Um, and the cheapest one that I saw was about 13 You could probably get a really nice one, or, like, I'm not an expert on hair dryers so I don't know what like an amazing hair dryer is supposed to be like but for me this is more than adequate because I don't hair I don't blow dry my hair very often um but yeah they're um like you could probably get a good one for between 25 and 30 dollars um okay but I think that's pretty much all I have for this little video babble thing <laughs> um so I will talk to you guys soon, and hope you found this helpful, and um, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Bye. My hair doesn't look like a giant frizzball, I just ran over it, even though frizz, whatever. Um, so, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, yeah.